An update on our reporting on the troubled and expensive defense system Boeing was developing to protect the U.S. from foreign missile strikes. A timely topic with North Korea recently firing two ballistic missiles in what some see as a message to the Biden administration. It was during the Trump administration that a series of missile launches by North Korea's dictatorship heightened tension and led to an unprecedented meeting between President Trump and North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un. Concern about a possible long-range ballistic missile strike emphasized the importance of the U.S. having a way to protect its coastline. But there's been a persistent problem. The Pentagon's choice of a missile defense shield didn't work very well, as we reported previously on Full Measure. For the last 14 years, the Pentagon and Boeing have been testing a defense system designed to shoot down nuclear missiles fired at the U.S. from enemies like Iran and North Korea. But it turns out the interceptors failed to destroy their targets in six out of 11 tests, all while Boeing got an incredible amount of tax dollars and bonuses. We recently spoke to David Willman, the Pulitzer Prize winning reporter at the LA Times, who investigated the story. What was in the information that should give the public pause? The best available evidence is that the system is not reliable, cannot be depended on. And in fact, in the flight tests that have been conducted, no more than half have hit the target. And these are meticulously scripted for success flight tests. So it's a system that the taxpayers of the United States have paid in excess of $40 billion for that is nowhere near being reliable. Explain how the bonuses worked. Obviously, the contractor wants the system to work. But if they can make it look like it's working better than it is, they get financial rewards. The system is all about hitting an enemy missile, and yet the criterion for success has been much more broadly defined. The criterion for them getting bonuses or financial incentives has been loosened, in other words? Yes. These are test missiles, but what are they shooting at for the tests? They're shooting at rockets that are typically launched from the Marshall Islands, from Kwajalein, that go up over the Pacific. We hope empty Pacific, but they, they soar up out of Earth's atmosphere. Ignition. We have liftoff. Our interceptor would be f typically fired from Vandenberg and would get up into space, three-stage rocket. The final stage is called a kill vehicle. And by that time, it's flying four miles per second. And it's doing what it can to hit that enemy missile, that mock warhead, in space at those speeds. It's a tremendously difficult thing to do. Now, in a surprise move, the Pentagon has removed Boeing from the running to create a new missile defense system. Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman are left competing in the new effort, estimated to cost 12 billion tax dollars. As for two missile sites developed by Boeing in California and Alaska, the Pentagon says it's revamping the silos. The cost of the Boeing-led project is estimated to be over $50 billion. Boeing said it's disappointed by the decision to be removed from consideration for the new one.